Madam President, colleagues, families and friends, it's an honour to be stood here delivering this vote of thanks. I'd like to begin by reading a quote from Audrey Lord, which I think encapsulates the spirit of graduation. She says, Tomorrow belongs to those who conceive of it as belonging to everyone and who lend the best of themselves to it and with joy. It's been a pleasure, a great pleasure, to serve as one of your co-presidents in the Students' Union this year. It's been, it's been an eventful and hectic year filled with many challenges and surprises, which speaks volumes about the resilience and dedication of this year's graduates. That being said, congratulations, Class of 2018, you did it. My vote of thanks is dedicated to the academic staff, our lecturers and tutors, in particular our fractional staff who did so much for us on so very little. I'd also like to give a special th thanks to the non-academic staff. Thank you to support staff, cleaners, security, porters, catering staff, and all outsourced workers who are pivotal to the functioning of this university. I think many of us here will be very familiar with the Just for Workers campaign. In a few months, after nine years of struggle, they are going to be brought in-house, and this victory is one that will continue to inspire myself and I'm sure many of you here for years to come. I'd like to thank our families and friends without whom I know many of us wouldn't be sitting here. I'm lucky enough to be a part of the cohort that is the class of 2018, and I'd like for us all to acknowledge the level of labour, both intellectual and emotional, that was done to get us here today, especially the encouragements and support you received and also gave to friends and classmates. Take a moment to look around you. You all did that with each other and for each other, and that is a massive achievement. They say it takes a village to raise a child, but also really takes the whole community to get you a degree. <laughs> Having said that, <laughs> Having said that, I'm sure that your degree has been just one part of your time at SOAS. In fact, I'm sure that a commitment to social change and liberatory politics has been a central part of how you spent your free time during your university time. <laughs> Whether it's partaking in the abundance of extracurricular activities run by societies or going on a protest. So what I'm saying is, continue with it. Collectively organize, be kind and generous to others, but also yourself. You're so much more than a degree classification, whether it's a first, a 2-1, a 2-2, or a third. University is so much more than what you learn inside the four walls of a classroom. I know that the discussions and debates in the JCR, bar, on the green, the SOAS steps, at parties or on picket lines have just been as formative. There is a lot that we got out of SOAS, but it's fair to say they also gained quite a bit from us. You may feel grateful towards SOAS, but SOAS should really be grateful to have had you. Not only do they gain £9,000 a year and more so from international students, they also, gained, they also gained unique minds and characters who contributed so much to the culture and spirit of SOAS in the short time they were here. So I'd like to thank SOASians both past and present for cultivating such a rare and extraordinary space that we've all come to love. SOAS has built a reputation for itself that suggests a commitment to social justice. I'm sure that it's this reputation that led many of us here in the first place. I hope that it continues to practice what it preaches, and even if it doesn't, then I know it has students that will continue to do that work for them. Whether it's fighting free education, outsourced workers, or a more decolonial world, I know we can trust SOASians to stand up and fight for justice, equality, and liberation. With that being said, With that being said, I'd like to leave you with the final stanza of a poem by June Jordan, a black feminist poet and writer. And who will join the standing up and the ones who stood without sweet company will sing and sing back into the mountains if necessary, even if, even if under the sun. We are the ones we have been waiting for. Thank you very much. Congratulations.